national anthem. Order, order, order. This assembly is hereby called to order. I want to invite Pastor Amos Ajayi to give us the Christian version of the opening prayer while Imam Abdul Shakur Oshola should get ready to give the Islamic version of the opening prayer. Let, let us pray. Our Father in heaven, we want to bless you. We thank you for the grace given unto each and everyone here to see today. We thank you, Lord God, for you have given us a day to live to remember. Father, I said our thanks, O Lord, in Jesus' name. We are thanking you, O Lord, for sustaining democracy in this nation for 20 good years. It is not by power. It is not by might. It is because it pleases you. Father, accept us and accept our thanks, O Lord, in Jesus' name. We commit this assembly that is to be inaugurated today into your holy hand. We ask, O Lord God of heaven, that wisdom from above you will give unto each and every one in the assembly in the name of Jesus. For the incoming leadership of this assembly, we ask, O oh Lord, that you give them grace to lead us aright in Jesus' name. And we ask, O oh Lord, as we are celebrating them today, we will not gather to mourn any of these ones in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father Lord. And we'll pray for Lagos State in general. That Father, as you have made this state a state of excellence, the leadership of the state, you will guide, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulillah Muhammad bin Abdullah wa ala alihi wa sabi ajma'in. All praises belong to Allah. The eternal, the eternal, the itself existing, we beseech thee, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to guide and protect this assembly. Allah, you gave us the life. For life is an opportunity, it is an opinion, and it is a trust. Allah, all the 40 members elect, Allah guide them to the right path. Those who will misguide them, let them be away from them. Allah, the 40 are assembled today. 
the 40 that is starting today, let the 40 finish, uh, finish the journey together. The leadership guide them aright. The leadership guide them aright. The injustice, remove it from their heart. Hatred, remove it from their heart. Nobody has the power except you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And also the state government. You have produced, Allah, you have given us the formidable team. Allah guide them to the right path. Allah always guide them to the right path. They promise to fulfill the, uh, to fulfill the promise to lead us to the right path. They promise to provide everything we need. Allah, let them provide it. For you, you, you are the uh, provider of the sustenance. For you, you are the guide. For you, you are the protector. Lagos, may you not let it cleft to asunder. Rabbana taqabbal minna inna kanta samiru l'alim. Wa tub'alina inna kanta tawabu rahim. Allahumma taqabbal minna qiyamana wa salatana wa du'ana bi rahmatika ya arhamar rahimin. Wa sallillahu ma'ala sayyidi al-awwalina wa l-akhirin. Muhammad bin Abdullah wa ala ali wa sabi ajma'in. Al-Fatiha. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Maliki yawm al-Din. Iyyaka na'abudu wa iyyaka nasta'in. Ihdina sirat al-Mustaqim. Sirat al-Ladhina ni'amta alayhim. غير المقدوب عليهم ولا الدالين آمين سبحان ربنا رب العزة عما يصفون والصلاة والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين Your Excellency Mr. Babajide Ulushola Sanolu, the Governor of Lagos State ably represented by His Excellency Dr. Kadri Obafemi Amzat the governor of the deputy governor of Lagos State, Your Excellency Dr. Mrs. Ibijoke Sonolu, the First Lady of Lagos State, Your Excellency Mrs. Oluremi Amzad, wife of the Deputy Governor of Lagos State, Your Excellencies, former governors and deputy governor, distinguished senators, senators elect, former speakers of the House and deputies, members elect of the House of Representatives members-elect of the Lagos State House of Assembly, Secretary to the State Government, the Chief of Staff and Deputy Chief of Staff to the Governor, the Head of Service, the Body of Permanent Secretaries, the Chairman of the All Progressive Congress APC Lagos State Chapter, the Governor's Advisory Council and other party leaders, Chairman of Local Governments and Local Council Development Areas, our Royal Fathers and White Cap Chiefs, revered religious leaders, members of the diplomatic corps, captains of industries, wives and families of members elect, former members of the Lagos State House of Assembly, former clerks of the House, other eminent personalities here present, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Aziz Adebo Ali Soni, the clerk of the Lagos State House of Assembly. It is an honor and privilege to welcome all our distinguished guests to the Lagos State House of Assembly to witness the inauguration of the Ninth Assembly of the State Legislature. I will be presiding over the preliminary procedure of the inauguration process until the elections of the Speaker and Deputy Speaker. I'm particularly delighted to welcome our new governor his Excellency Mr. Babajide Olu and to congratulate him on his victory at the gubernatorial election held on Saturday, March 2019, and the subsequent swearing in as the sixth governor of Lagos State. I also want to welcome His Excellency, the Deputy Governor, Dr. Kadri Obafemi Amzad, and wish to congratulate him on his emergence as the Deputy Governor of the state. I use this medium to also congratulate a former foremost member of this house, now a senator-elect, Al-Aji Sikuru Adebay Oshino, and to wish him a much more fulfilling experience and service to the nation at the national level. I congratulate all members-elect, those returning for another time, and those who have been re-elected for the first time. To the returning members, I welcome you back to the business of legislation and representation. 
your depth of knowledge, experience, and proving commitments to serve the state will no doubt be of great benefit and advantage to the House and this administration. To the new members, I welcome you to the House. The business of legislation is by no means easy, but I want to assure you that with the highly experienced 29 returning members, you have little or no problem learning the rudiments of legislative practice and procedures. I also want to assure you that we have efficient, dependable, and professional staff to support and cooperate with you. To the other members who are not returning, your absence in this house will no doubt be deeply felt. You were great legislators, brilliant and exceptional. We are proud of you, and I wish you success in your future endeavors. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the legislative arm of government is an essential part of any democratic government all over the world. It is composed of elected representatives of the people and charged with the responsibilities of representing their interests and concerns to make and review laws for the socioeconomic well-being of the people and indeed development of the society. It has oversight powers on other arms of government. It also steers government business, actions, and policies with a view to delivering dividends of democracy to the citizens. It scrutinizes, reviews, and approves government expenditure proposals initiated by the executive arm. The Lagos State House of Assembly has been diligently and conscientiously performing these statutory functions and responsibilities over the, year, over the years. The Eighth Assembly particularly performed remarkably well, and for which I would like to commend and heartily congratulate the former speaker, Right Honorable Mudashu Ajaya of Swasa, now a member elect, and other member, members elect who served as principal officers for providing the right leadership and ensure the passage of 45 bills, which later became laws, attended to over 500 petitions, passed over 200 resolutions that touched on a broad range of issues relating to the welfare of the people, settlement of disputes, and other socioeconomic challenges. The state legislatures over the years has always had a cordial relationship with the executive arm as partners in progress, working tirelessly in giving legitimacy to its policies, proposals, and activities in a symbolic manner that has brought commendable progress to the state. Accordingly, negotiations can rest assured of improved service delivery over the next four years and beyond. For your information, Your Excellency, all of us in the Alu Chamber, Lagos State House of Assembly is composed of 40 seats allotted to 40 state constituencies. Based on the return of writs received from the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, on the House of Assembly elections held in March 2019, all the 40 members elects are from the All Progressive Congress, APC. <laughs> 29 of these served in the 8th Assembly and have been returned to another term in the 9th Assembly. While 11, 11 are new members coming for the first time. Among the 29 returning members, one is on his fifth term, five are on their fourth term, eight are on their third term, while 15, 15 are on their second term. We also have <laughs> we also have three female in all, two from among the returning members and one newly elected. Your Excellency, the returning members will indeed be a remarkable plus for this administration as they are highly experienced dedicated and skillful legislators to work with. They are the same set of legislators that ensure the success of predecessor in office. It should have been a great loss to the House and the state if they have failed in their election bid. Thank you for listening. I want to respectfully invite um, His Excellency Mr. Baba Jide Ulushola Sonwolu, the Governor of Lagos State, to deliver his um, address, ably represented by Dr. Kadri Obafemi Amzad, the Deputy Governor of Lagos State.
Your Excellency, sir. His Excellency, Ogbeni Rauf Arekbeshola, former governor, state of Oshun. Our Excellency, Dr. Ibijoke Sonwodu, the first, Lego, the first lady of Lagos State. Our Excellency and my wife, Mrs. Oluremi Hamzat. Most distinguished senators here present. Those serving and those newly elected. The distinguished House of Representative members here present those serving and newly elected, our leaders, governors, advisory committee, council members. I can see our father, Prince Tajuddin Olusi. I can see Alaji Seriki, popularly called Bamu. I can see Baba Alebi Oshu. I can see Prince I can see, I'm sorry I can't mention everybody, but I can see all of you. Thank you very much for coming. The chairman, chairman APC Lagos State, Alaji Babatunde Balogun. The secretary to the state government, Mrs. Fola Shade Jaji. Chief of staff, Mr. Tayo Anide. The head of service, Mr. Akim Murio Kwala. Very distinguished members of the Ninth Assembly. I'm able former members of the Eighth Assembly who are here. Our royal fathers. I can see the Ayogunre of Ikorodu. I can see Obasahi, the Legushi, and many others that are here. Members of the traditional White Cap Chiefs. Our epitome of beauty, the Lagos State Legislature's Wife Association all dressed very gorgeously. They are honorable members of Conference 57, astute captain of industries that are here, members of the diplomatic corps, our religious leaders, eminent personalities that are here, members of our great parties that are all here, and those that are outside, members of the Fort Rem Estate of Fourth Estate of the Rem, the, the press, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Well, as you can see, uh, His Excellency Mr. Babadide Sonwolu is not here. I will try and represent him. He has to be in Abuja to represent the state. He's having a meeting with the president of the country, and as such, We've not, uh, scientists have not been able to clone human beings. So, he's there in Abuja and I'm here in Lagos to represent him. Uh, some few days ago, I took the oath of office as the 15th governor of Lagos State. Today, I'm in the hallowed chambers of the Lagos State House of Assembly to inaugurate the Ninth Assembly of the State Legislature in line with Section 105, Subsection 3 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, as amended. I'm here with a heart of gratitude and to particularly commend Lagosians who came out in large numbers to vote for our party, the All Progressive Congress, as evident in the composition of the House being conveyed today, comprising of 100% members of our great party. This is an eloquent testimony to the unwavering commitment of our people to the progressive ideals which we have sustained since 1999. As you commence these legislative duties, it is important to remind ourselves that although we belong to different arms of government, we are all accountable to the people of this great state who have reposed a great deal of trust and confidence in our party with the mandate given to us to steer the ship of affairs of our state. The very essence of the principle of separation of power is to ensure that checks and balances are in place and to guarantee the independence of 
every arm of government from the order as specified in our constitution. It, however, does not discourage partnership as long as this will serve the overall interest and good of the people of our great state Lagos. Let me therefore use this opportunity to assure you that the executive arm of government under my watch will develop and encourage a harmonious relationship among the three arms of government. Lagos State has always been a pace setter in these regards and will continue to remain one. I wish to note that this administration promises to uphold and deepen this transition as this has been one of the major cornerstones that has made Lagos the most prosperous in the nation and the fifth largest economy in Africa. As progressive partner in this dispensation, we have a joint responsibility to raise the bar and move standard of governance to the next level. This is what our party, the APC, has promised our people and the basis of the mandate that we all hold on their behalf. It is therefore a sacred promise which we must all uphold. The journey of four years has now started. Now is the time for us to put our hands on the plow and activate the process towards fulfilling our promises to, to make this state, which is home to 22 million people, even greater. It is try to mention that no single arm of government can function efficiently and effectively without the support of the other arm. But collectively, and with a common vision and agenda, there is so much that we can accomplish together. As lawmakers, with responsibilities for oversight functions, the speed and the accuracy with which this responsibility is discharged will impact greatly on the lives and well-beings of our people, whose interests must and will be our priority. Dear honorable members, a couple of days ago, I signed into law the 2019 appropriation bill and three other bills passed by the Eighth Assembly. Let me assure you that I'm committed to the full implementation of these laws, which are critical to the smooth operation of government, as well as the security and well-being of the people of our state. In the coming days, weeks, and months, I will be seeking your kind consideration for the quick passage of various bills that will be forwarded to you from time to time to give legal backing where necessary for the execution of some of our programs under the six pillars of development that we have tagged teams. Traffic management and transportation, health and environment, education and technology, making Lagos a 21st century economy, entertainment and tourism, security, and governance. Once again, I must congratulate you, all of us, for the victory at the polls and today's inauguration. I look forward to a cordial and harmonious working relationship that will be fully beneficial to the people of Lagos. And at this time, we must therefore pay tribute to who honor is due. That is Ashwa Jibola Ahmed Tinumbu, who as our leader has allowed our party to sustain democracy and progressive ideals and progressive ideals that the people of Lagos are now championing. And that is why we are all here, all the 40 members of our party, to continue to sustain that. We should never forget it. I wish you a very successful tenor. As members of the night Lagos State House of Assembly, I pray that God will guide all of us. Thank you for listening. God bless Lagos. God bless Nigeria. And God bless all of us. Thank you, God.
Members elect, I have received a proclamation issued by His Excellency Mr. Babajide Olushola Sonolu, the Governor of Lagos State, for the holding of the first session of the Ninth Assembly of Lagos State House of Assembly, and in line with Rule 2, Subsection 2A of our business rule and standing orders, I read the proclamation as follows. The Governor, Lagos State of Nigeria, proclamation for the holding of the first session of the Ninth Lagos State House of Assembly. It reads, whereas it is provided in section 105, subsection 3 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amended in 2010, that the person elected as governor shall have power to issue a proclamation for holding of the first session of the State House of Assembly immediately after being sworn in. I, Babajide Olushola Songolu, the governor of Lagos State, in exercise of the power bestowed upon me by Section 105, Subsection 3, aforesaid, and of all other powers enabling me in that behalf, hereby proclaim that the first session of the ninth Lagos State House of Assembly shall hold at 10 a.m. on Friday, 7 June 2019, in the State House of Assembly in Keja, an election for principal officers shall be conducted freely and fairly in line with extant provisions, business rules, and starting order of the Lagos State House of Assembly given under my hand and the Republic Seal of Lagos State at Ikeja on the sixth day of June 2019. Signed, His Excellency, Mr. Babajide Olushola Somolu, Governor of Lagos State. The next item on the other paper is the confirmation of return of writs and roll call. Members elect are respectfully requested to indicate their presence by raising of hands when their names are called. Thank you. The members elect and their constituencies are as contained in the writs received from the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, in respect of elections to the Lagos State House of Assembly held in March 2019 are as follows. Agege Constituency 1, member elect Obasa Mudashiru Ajayi, Agege Constituency 2, member elect Ogundimu Uluinka. Ajeromi Constituency 1, member elect Olumosai Lukman. Ajeromi Ifeludun Constituency 2, member elect Oluwa Olatunji Fatai. Ali Mosho Constituency 1, Member elect Yusuf Adebisi Abdurrahman. Ali Mosho Constituency 2. Member elect Joseph Kende Olaide. Amu Wodofin Constituency 1. Member elect Ali Makoli Kende Mujisola. Amu Wodofin Constituency 2. Member elect Rauf Olawale Agas Suleiman. A Papa Constituency 1, member elect Miranda Mujisola Lasbat. A Papa Constituency 2, member elect Jimo Olumiwa Waha. Badagri Constituency 1, member elect Layode Ibrahim Olanre Waju. Badagri Constituency 2, member elect David Setonji Samuel. Ekpe Constituency 1, member elect Tobu Mustainu Abiodun. Ekpe Constituency 2, member elect Ogunkelu Sylvester Luashion. Etiosa Constituency 1, member elect Adams Nohim Babatunde. Etiosa Constituency 2, member elect Isha Ogbolaon Olushegun Rufai. Ibejuleki 
constituency to member elect Mojid Fatai Adibola. Ibejuleki constituency to member elect.